YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be replacing the stock mufflers that I have right there on my Mustang, my thousand horsepower Mustang. It's the stock MBRP mufflers, I call them stock, with the valve exhaust, valved exhaust. So we'll be able to change it from quiet to loud, literally at the push of a button. In fact, it's this button right here. It looks really freaking cool. You can also put it inside of your car in like a regular push button. It's a really cool way of doing uh, quiet and loud, and it doesn't really take away. You don't have to do a bunch of cutting or splicing or anything like that. Fits into your cigarette lighter. We're gonna be making it hardwired though, so I'll be showing you guys all of that process. But for now, we've gotta go ahead and get these mufflers pretty much swapped over to the other side, but I'm gonna show you exactly what it sounds like with the MBRP mufflers. Then I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like without any mufflers at all. It sounds like a truck. It sounds ridiculous. And then of course, after the video goes through and I show you guys how to install it, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the quiet, the loud, I'm gonna show you all the different modes. I'm super excited for this one. Now that we took off the MBRP mufflers, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it sounds like without the mufflers. As you can see, it kind of fell off down there, so I have to reattach it before I can drive. Not too big of a deal, but super annoying. Anyways, we're gonna be swapping these out with some valve exhaust ones, and it should be miles better. a little loud luckily we're gonna be putting these on so it shouldn't be that obnoxious it's, it, it did sound kind of like a truck I I need to put these on ASAP so if you guys saw those videos you saw the quiet you saw the loud and now these are the previous ones that I had on there you can see there's a spark plug they're pretty much blown out they really don't sound all that good we're gonna be swapping this part over here pretty much a straight cut sliding it over these two over here and the tips also slide over so literally plug and play like i mean obviously you got to do a little bit of welding but it's a little bit it's ex it's going to be exactly the same look as i had on the car uh, but we're going to be changing that we're going to be making it better and uh, of course now we have the valves over here so we can make it quiet and loud whenever we want i told you guys i'd come back it's the next day we're going to be cutting the mufflers in this video it's really simple stuff i got a cutoff wheel from harbor freight right over here and uh, we're pretty much because this one is a little bit longer than this one we line it up at the bottom we got the tips all pretty much ready to go and we're just gonna be making a line from here to here, cutting it right there with the wheel, and then welding it on with uh, some tacks, getting it all up on the car. It should be good to go. I mean, this is gonna take quite a while, especially lining it up and getting it perfect. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we can make it work. Let's go.
YouTube, if you guys can't see, I'm about to weld. I have a Harbor Freight welder right behind me. You might be able to see it in the frame. Um, I've got all the protective equipment. Sorry, the basic minimum. I'm not gonna worry about covering up my arms. I got a farmer's tan anyways. And uh, we're about to make that very first tack weld and I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. Should, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to minimum. Lower the wire speed just a little bit, and we should be good. These are horrible, but we'll see what I can do um, in the garage on the floor with a $130 welder. And I haven't practiced in a while, so here we go. So another day I just finished welding up the uh, last muffler over here and honestly I don't even want to show you guys that's how bad it looks but I ran into some issues but the way that I cut the pipe I didn't have a sander or a uh, perfectly straight edge so there's quite a big of a gap so I decided to just get another pipe that's just slightly bigger diameter cut it loop it over the pipe like this crunch it down and then weld all around it it works temporarily now nah, I'll just show you guys it works Temporarily, um, that's just kind of how I'm going to leave it for now because it really doesn't matter as long as it, it uh, doesn't leak. So I'm going to go ahead and do some final touches with the welding gun and then we can go ahead and put it on the car. I was going to go ahead and data log the car, but I realized that I have exhaust hanging out on the bottom. It's behind this garage, so I can't really do that. So like I said, I'm going to clean it up. This side was uh, a lot better. There's a lot of sputter everywhere because it is a gasless gun. Um, but everything looks pretty good so far. Like I said, I'm going to put it on without the tips. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up with the welding gun. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and try to put it back on the car and then show you guys the different modes and how it sounds like. So it might be a little bit difficult to tell because we're in the sun, but let me show you. So I did run into an issue, not with the mufflers themselves, but uh, the bottom piece. Let me try to zoom in. Maybe it'll work. That bottom piece right there on my exhaust is like stuck and I need to go underneath the car completely and push the exhaust manifolds back in but you can see we have the vacuum lines connected the valves are all connected everything's tightened down this one's just on the floor which kind of sucks because i was hoping to data log today so i guess i'm going to be taking care of that a little bit later but now we're going to be able to show you guys the different modes uh, i'm going to go ahead and just double check to make sure that everything works i can show you guys the cold start uh, we're going to do it with the valves closed and then the valves open here we go Holy shit. So that's quiet. This is loud. This is the two week cold start with the valves closed on my Mustang. Let's go. I wish I was kidding when I said this, but I've spent the last 45 minutes I unbolted every single part of the exhaust from the long tubes back and tried to redo it the best I could and it's still hanging a little bit because we don't have the hangers on the back. Holy crap, okay, now we should have an actual first start with everything tightened up and no long tube header piece missing. So here we go, crossing my fingers because I'm so tired of this. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it in the background, but this is what the quiet mode is on the Mustang. And now when I press this button, it should be loud, so. That's, that's a big difference. It might not be too noticeable on camera, but it is a massive difference in the sound. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make it quiet while we're talking so you guys can truly understand the difference. Oh, let's go. And of course, I couldn't let you guys go without some reps, so here we go.
difference between the loud and the quiet modes, this car is an absolute monster with the valves open and then an absolute stealth mode with a quiet. I honestly, it sounds like a normal Mustang with like a little maybe resonator delete when it's fully closed. And if you want exhaust like this, I highly, highly recommend it, especially on like super, super loud cars because I like having a quiet option. Maybe it's 3 a.m. in the morning and you gotta go out on a sneaky link or something like that or you wanna go get some Wawa, some energy drinks or something and you don't wanna wake up the neighbors and cause a disturbance. Get some valve mufflers. Literally at the press of a button, quiet, start it up. Freaking loud as heck if you want to. It is awesome. Highly, highly recommend it. Install is super, super simple. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> I already had a custom exhaust system, so it was a little bit of a pain trying to get it all welded up. But then again, I am just the guy working in his garage trying to make things happen, and we made it happen. It took a little bit longer than it would with like a lift and all these tools, but we made it happen. We're still 99% we, we, done because I do need to get those hangers on. But like I said, this is awesome. And if you guys want your own custom exhaust like this, like I said, go ahead and check out the link. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Check out some of the videos somewhere around the screen. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Make sure you leave a comment. I do reply to all the comments. If you have questions about the install, if it'll fit in your car, yada, yada, let me know. And uh, I will do my best to answer every single one of them for as long as I can. So like I said, once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a subscribe and peace out.